Hey guys, this is Isabel G with Crown Agape, and please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I post, but also share and like this video if it touches your heart. So guys, this week, I'm just going to be talking about what the Lord has opened up my eyes to. He, I don't know about you, but I just feel like the Lord's just been blessing me. The Lord has just been blessing me. He's been touching my life in so many areas of my life, in my marriage, and my finances, and my home, and in my purpose. That sometimes I'm like, Lord, are you sure? I feel like sometimes we ask the Lord, is he sure? Like he didn't have a strategy behind what he's doing. But when I was taking my walk, I finally called the qualified, but he qualifies the call. And I kind of laughed, like I smiled, and I'm just like, oh, he thinks highly of me. He thinks that I am qualified enough to do this job. Because I feel like sometimes, and I'm speaking for myself, sometimes, you know, I just feel like, Lord, like, can I represent the kingdom in a way that gives you glory? Can I represent you the way that Jesus represents you? Right? And... When I think about what he, what he says, that he doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. You know, just like Jesus, when Jesus was born, we didn't hear a lot about him in the Bible until the Lord wanted to reveal him to the world. So that means even when he was revealed, the Lord was covering him. He was protecting him. He was, he was guiding him. Because I feel like, you know, he he trusted that servant. He trusted Jesus to serve him with all his heart and all his mind and do what he was born to do. You know, I don't think Jesus stopped and said, Lord, I don't think I'm able, right? And Lord, I don't think, you know, you called the right person. And I feel a lot of people in the flesh, just a couple of people in the Bible too. Moses, I remember Moses did that. I probably, Abraham probably thought about that too. You know, when it was just like, Lord, me? You sure me? Right? Where, you know, instead of us with our faith, you know, having faith in who our God is, the God that created all things, and saying, okay, sometimes, you know, in the beginning, we second guess it. Like, Lord, are you sure you want me to do this? And God's probably like, yeah. Like, he knew us before we was born. He knew Jesus was going to be born and was going to be the sacrifice of all the ones to come. He knew Jesus before he was born. He knew that he was going to be the king of the Jews, the king of his people, the bloodline that continues to go for those. He just knew that his blood was going to be able to redeem us all. He knew that he was going to be the one to sh be the true vine to the, the, the brothers and the sisters to come, right? And just like us, like, Lord, he said his one word. Hold on. Because he, he said, listen to me, all you in the distant lands. Pay attention you who are far away. The Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb, he called me by name. He made my words of judgments as sharp as a sword. He has hidden me in the shadow of his hand. I am like a sharp arrow in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, Israel, and you will bring me glory. The Lord created Christ in a purpose to give Israel glory, his people glory, his sons and his daughter glory, so that we are able to be free. Jesus was the vine. He was the servant that was going to be representative of all the servants to come so that we know that we can walk in confidence, in boldness, in power, in authority, in, in truth. He said right here, he said, he, he, had made me, he had made my words of judgment as sharp as a sword. You know why he said that? It's because every time Jesus spoke, he spoke the truth. He spoke the word of God. He spoke 
the God's word, he spoke to be able not just to um, change your mind, but to transform your heart, right? He didn't, when he spoke, he transformed hearts. When he touched, he transformed lives. And that's exactly what we should be doing. I pray that when people hear my YouTube channel, that they understand that, no, I don't always feel qualified. I don't always feel like I can represent Christ. But I know that I love God and I want to be obedient to his word. Enough that if he says go, that I'm just going to go, right? If he says say this, I'm just going to say it. Because I'd rather make the Lord happy than to make people happy. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He came here, he didn't care to hurt people's feelings. Because most of the people feelings that he heard it were people that thought they they lived in pride they live in arrogance they lived thinking they were the man right when jesus came he came so humbly so um unqualified right so um you know to people unworthy to do and say but the thing is that's how god works if he used someone that the world was going to approve of that's just not god's character god wants to use the ones that he he knows are going to be true to to um be served true servants the ones that are going to boast in their own arrogance but they're going to boast in the glory of god they're going to boast giving all glory to god and that's all i can do when things happen in my life and i'm just like thank you jesus thank you lord because he's a god that hears our 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 every prayer every word that comes out of our mouth he counts every tear that drops from our eyes he hears the heart our heart that's pumping because he's the one that gave the breath in our lungs right and that's exactly why he chose you that's why he chose me because we're not because we have faith in what christ did we can look at christ and duplicate what he's done jesus came speaking the truth because he said the truth shall set us free so they wanted to live in their ways they wanted to live in their position but me and you the ones that know that the people didn't choose you know you don't want the one that they picked last you don't want they call last when it's time to invite you you're the one that sometimes feel like you haven't been seen and you know that's fine right because once you realize that the only person you need is god because he sees you he loves you he qualified you he put purpose in you he knew you were going to be a true servant of him for his kingdom and sometimes we may not feel like we're able but guess what that's why we lean on him because if we could do by ourselves why would we need him right but we need him that's why when we feel weak we're like lord give me strength when we feel like we don't have it we're like lord give me hope right lord thank you for love you gave me the joy he gave us the fruit of the spirit and then it came into john 15 16 that says you did not choose me but i choose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last then the father will give you whatever you ask in my name you know why that's like that because we didn't look we didn't find the lord the lord found he chose us he found us he chose us before we was even gave our first breath and because of that he knew exactly what he was doing in us and through us so like the things that are old he he puts the truth in our hearts so that it can set us free so that when we bear this fruit that we hold on to it that we live on it that we are able to not only just hold on to it but be able to receive it and give it right the fruit of the spirit is love we will if no one in this world loves us we know that god loves us he loved us enough to give us breath again today. He gave love enough to give us purpose, to give us life. He gave us joy. Because even if no one else is dancing and praising God with us, we can have that joy all by ourselves and praise him in the name of Jesus. Why? Because He, Jesus died for us. He, he died for us. That's love and joy in one. He gave us peace, right? Past all understanding. Because when the world gave us chaos and, 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 
and craziness, the Lord calmed our hearts and our mind and said, I'm with you. I walk with you through the valley of death, right? Fear no evil. We don't have to fear anything but him. And because we fear him, we love him that much that we'll do what he asks us to do when he wants us to do it. He gave us self, so what's, what is it? Peace, love, joy, um, self, self-control. Who, who had addictions before? I know I did. Who eats when they're depressed or sad? I know I used to. He gave us the self-control to say no to these things. That when we feel in that state, now we can go into the presence of the Lord. That when we feel in that state, then now we can say no and say yes to him. Thank God, thanks Jesus for being the true vine, right? The true vine that we can hold on to him. And that anything that he uses and bears through us, that we're going to be, have good food, fruit from it. Things that are going to multiply and divide, right? You're going to have the best of the best. And when he says, when he says he doesn't call the qualified, it's because he qualifies the called. And when he's doing that, he is teaching us. He is showing us. He's protecting us. He's walking with us. And I just thank God for that because I needed that. Sometimes I'm like, Lord, I don't deserve it. But the Lord says, yes, you do. See, what the world thinks is what needs to happen, the right praying, meaning our word, um, acknowledging who he is, praising his name, you know, just spreading the gospel, right? Showing them that your love, God is good. He is our hope. He's our future. And that's exactly what he's given us. If we have tr put our trust in him and have faith in him and believe in who he is and what he's done in our life, that he gives us a hope in the future. And even when it's like a wow, like, Lord, you chose me, guarantee he chose you. Yes, he chose you. And you deserve it. So just accept the blessings and shine. Be that light in the world. Because that's what he created you to be, the light of the world, just like Jesus was. He touched the sick. He healed the sick. He he made the blind see, right? He he fed. He 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 gave the the everlasting water. Samaritan woman, the water that never runs dry. That's the kind of love God gives us for those who are faithful to Him. He provides and He gives us things that we would never run out of it. He gives us so much that we're able to share. Right? He gives us so much love that we're able to share this love. He gives us so much joy that people see the joy and we can share the joy. He gives us so much peace that they look at us and they're like, what is it? And we can show them, we can tell them the peace of God. Hallelujah. I don't want this to be long, so let me just pray. If I just pray that you understand that you're a qualified children of God. That we were crowned, we are in a priesthood. And even when stuff looks too good, it's just like, just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You thought about me. You chose me. You seen me. And that's how I be feeling all the time. Like, Lord, you seen me. You chose me. Like, wow. And he chose you too. But you gotta, you know, he chose you, but you gotta choose him too. Not just once, not twice, but every day choose him. Choose him. Praise God. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Father God, that in this time we're at your feet, thanking you that you chose us, that you saved us, you created us, you put breath in our lungs, Lord, that you qualified us, Lord Jesus, to do the will of the kingdom, that Father God, that we don't have to live in darkness, that your truth set us free, that you love us, that you have hope in the future for us, that Father God, even when we feel like we don't even um, deserve the things you're giving us, we, we thank you, Lord. We thank you because you know what's ahead. You know the people that we're going to come in contact with. You know us, Lord. You know us more than we know ourselves. And we just thank you at this time. Give you glory. Father, we love you. We just thank you. And I pray this word, this, this video, touches hearts. Because, Father God, sometimes we just need to hear it. And you tell us every day on our heart with a kiss on our heart saying, I love you. Why? Because... Our heart is beating once again of flesh. Father God, heal your people. 
Give them the eyes to see the way you see, the heart to pump the way you pump for the love of your children. Give them ears to hear your word in a way that, Father God, that you're whispering in their ears, Father God. Father God, transform their hearts. Let them know that they are qualified and you have crowned them in righteousness. Father God, let us live up to the kingdom way, Father God. And we just love you and we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless, guys. Remember, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And you have been called. In Jesus' name.